this um, workshop was in aid of Ardentini Village Hall funds. We advertised an eight-week ceramics course and we had seven people sign up for it. These are the pieces that were made during that workshop. This piece was made by Madeleine Hacking, who's here, and this is a clay sketch of her husband, Keith. Madeleine will explain the difficulties that she had with it. Yes, it was very difficult trying to get the proportions right and uh, and the features and I still don't feel that the features are do Keith justice but uh, apart from that I thoroughly enjoyed the course and I'm going to do another one. These acorns were made by Anne Devine. They have it's a mixed media piece. They have gold leaf and ceramics. These arrows were made by Linda Naismith. Um, she made them with her grandchildren in mind, so they're fun and colourful. And they're made using the coil method. So these squirrels were made by Robert, Robert Devine. Um, Robert made this one first, and then this one. Uh, one's a bit thinner than the other, um, and these have gold leaf. Robert will explain how they were made. Well, as Bill said, like the last time we were using the coil method um, for the bodies uh, and the head, the tails were made with two halves put together uh, and sealed. Uh, as Bill said, I did do the one behind first. Uh, I'd started in this one, but it seemed to be huge at the time. So he told me to stop and start again with another. So I started this and I just kept working with the second one and went back to the, the one at the front, which is my preferred one, actually. This piece has an interesting history. This was made by Leonard Gow of a Lord Lord Goylehead. This started off as a figurative piece. He, he wasn't happy with the way it was going very bravely. He um, they decided to alter it and he's turned it into uh, a landscape. So these tiles were made by Alison um, and these are for Alison's fireplace. Um, they've been fired really, really high. Um, you can tell by the <coughs> clunk. And these were made, made by um, pressing leaves into the clay and then applying a glaze. These pieces were made using identical methods, yet each has its own unique character. And it was satisfying to be part of a creative and enthusiastic group who, although they were all beginners, managed to acquire the necessary skills needed to produce their pieces within the eight weeks of the workshop. The finished pieces were well received by everyone who came to the exhibition and we are looking forward to the next set of workshops. Mm -hmm.